Hello my soccer universe. Well, the international break is upon us, so I changed the set and when I looked over the matches that are happening um, all over, not really anything happening in Africa, preliminary qualifiers, same thing in Asia, South America only has friendlies, I think Chile, Argentina being the most notable one. It's really only the European qualifiers that we really need to talk about to be honest and that's why I put all my European shirts where I've double I put two Holland is doubled up I'm wearing the Netherlands um, kind of as a preemptive strike because I don't know how often I'll be wearing the Netherlands given their schedule but I hope I will do so very very often so let's see how it will go um, I will still be posting, uh, you will get today, hopefully, otherwise tomorrow, uh, the part three of the Serie A jersey review. Uh, and yeah, I have new jerseys coming and I will do those once the review part is over. So um, hope you look forward to kind of bridging the international uh, break and the club season because I got um, from both. Uh, a little bit. So let's look at the games and the notable games. I've printed out here a sheet with uh, betting odds uh, that kind of keeps me uh, what we can really watch for. Um, and you know, I'll post here on the side you have the matches as well. Uh, we're not looking at standings yet, we'll do that once we are um, talking about the actual matches. So uh, Thursday we have, I mean the two games that are kind of the interesting ones, meaning they're kind of balanced. This is Finland, Greece, with Finland still being the favorites, being at home. And then Ireland, Switzerland, where it's the other way around. Switzerland is favored despite being away from home. So those, I think, are the other two matches, both are at 8.45. Uh, there's also Armenia, Italy, and Romania, Spain. You know, Armenia, Italy is probably nice because it's at 6 o'clock, so you can watch Italy which should be fun to watch but anything but a victory there would be a surprise and similar for Romania Spain although you know we'll see but you know I don't expect much both teams are very heavily favored uh, away from home Friday there's the big one that's if there's only one match you're gonna watch all um, international break it should be of course Germany against the Netherlands that's the big clash um, Germany is favored but you know it's rather even but that's really the big one I mean I was thinking, yeah, should I watch Austria, Latvia? And then I saw now, and at the same time, it's Germany, Netherlands. I'm not going to watch Austria. I'm going to watch Germany, Netherlands. Um, the Germans, I mean, and I'm great that this is a rivalry again, thanks to the Nations League, where we had a win for the Dutch and a draw. Now we had a win for Germany in the Netherlands, uh, I think. Wasn't what wasn't it? The Germany was 2 0 up, the Netherlands equals, and then they got a late winner, the Germans. So let's see how it will go this time. On the same at the same time, there's also, and you know, those are kind of so and so. Scotland, Russia sounds better than it actually is. Slovakia, Croatia, that could be an interesting one, uh, since the Croatia is a little bit under uh, trouble and similar as Slovakia. And Slovenia, Poland could be, but I expect an easy Polish victory there. Saturday, there's really not much. The one game to watch is Serbia-Portugal. I think that's pretty clear. It's almost a must-win for Portugal, given how they started uh, into qualification. Um, two big boys are playing England against Bulgaria, which is a game that I would watch, uh, and probably will watch, but I don't expect much from Bulgaria, so I, I'm afraid this will be a beatdown, which is not something I want to see. And then there's France-Albania, you know, at Euro 2016, this was a little bit of trouble matchup, and I don't know how France will do against, um, you know, a smaller opponent, meaning not so strong op opponent, they usually have some motivation issues as of late. And then we're going to Sunday, and I have to say the last, the next three are kind of so and so. Uh, there's really nothing super, super exciting. I mean, Finland, Italy, given that the Finns are pretty good, this could be an interesting one, but of course, Italy's favorite Spain, Faroe Islands, not really. I think the most even one is Sweden, Norway, which is a Nordic derby. So that the first game was already an amazing one. So maybe that's the one that you should watch on Sunday. Uh, on Monday, um, I underlined two games and depends on what you like hungary slovakia that seems to be the most even one poland austria is kind of you know 
depends on how Israel is doing, but uh, Austria is a little bit in a bind. But I think if they win against Latvia, then they have it all in their own hands. So the, uh, we don't even need a result in Poland uh, to qualify necessarily, but you need to then to win all your other games. Um, in Scotland, Belgium, again, uh, I wish Scotland was better, that this was a, actually a real game to look forward to. And then Tuesday is really un underwhelming. The most even matchup that I found is Montenegro Czech Republic. That's not a, a great one. Of course, uh, we have three big nations playing. It's England against Kosovo, France, Andorra, and Lithuania, Portugal. So, you know, pro pro probably. If I will watch, I will watch those, but I probably in some of those days I might only watch highlights. As I said, there's nothing really super, super enticing except for one. Germany, Netherlands. That's on Friday in the evening, 8.45. Must watch. I mean, I don't think we need to... Uh, explain why and then there are some in interesting ones i actually look also for forward to serbia portugal i have to say and maybe finland italy that could be an interesting one but hey let me know what you uh will be watching i just thought i'll give you a break uh not big a little preview of what to watch in the european qualifiers where things are going and yeah i'll give you daily updates but as, as i said i will most likely rely mostly on uh five minute highlights and watch the occasional match that's where it goes. Anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos uh, on the international break or anything else that's related to my soccer universe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.